Leadership is an art, a canvas upon which vision, inspiration and guidance are painted. Within this expansive canvas there emerge two contrasting strokes, two distinct palettes that define the essence of leadership. One brushstroke represents the multipliers, and the other stroke embodies the diminishers. In their book Multipliers, Greg McEwen and Liz Wiseman offer us profound insights into these two leadership archetypes. They invite us to explore the transformational power of multipliers and the detrimental impact of diminishers on the teams they lead. There are two types of leaders, multipliers and diminishers. Multipliers look beyond their own genius and focus their energy on extracting and extending the genius of others. They believe everyone is talented and smart enough to figure things out, even without them. They leave a big space for all team members to truly shine, develop their skills and take ownership of their work. But this doesn't mean that multipliers make people feel good all the time, nor do they always appear as work-shy leaders. Instead, they focus on empowering their teams and making everyone independent. While multipliers give people more freedom, diminishers tend to be more controlling. Diminishers assume that most people are incapable of making decisions without them. Therefore, they act like a know-it-all and always put themselves at the core of all operations. They're only interested in having things done their way. Even talented team members under them get frustrated and feel like they're being micromanaged. It's not that all diminishers are horrible people trying to control everything. There are accidental diminishers who actually care about their teams, but they're completely unaware that they often shut down the intelligence of others. One multiplier leader's actions have a ripple effect that can impact dozens of team members. This can positively change business performance for the entire organization, which we call the multiplier effect. As the leader passes on the optimistic and empowering nature to one subordinate, that subordinate would pass it on to other team members. Because of this, an entire organization can find itself highly motivated to work and innovate. More and more people would be on board to multiply their contribution to the company. Multiplier and diminisher aren't either-or identities. Most leaders fall somewhere in between and can move in either direction. And even the strongest diminisher can change. To aid our transformation into a multiplier, there are some accelerators that help us embrace collaborative and empowering behaviours. First, change our assumptions about teams' intelligence and capabilities. Believe that our team is smart enough to do their job well without us. Our job is only to show them how and be there when they need us. Second, we need to strengthen our strengths and neutralize our weaknesses. We don't need to be good at everything in order to become a multiplier. Only focus on enhancing the areas that we are actually good at. Third, do a 30-day experiment. We have to practice multiplier behavior before it finally becomes a habit. Dedicate a month to integrate these new approaches into our daily routine. Fourth, actively seek input and insights from our team members. Their perspectives can be invaluable in identifying our strengths and weaknesses in our growth as a multiplier leader. While the concepts of multiplier can be simple, they're not as simple to implement. We need to accept that changing habits is hard. This way we allow ourselves to make mistakes and seek support from colleagues. Even once we have got a handle on our accidental diminishing tendencies and work at improving them, one challenge remains. Most of us aren't the only leaders in our organizations and may have to work with diminishers. But we can still be multipliers, even when other leaders aren't. To survive diminishers, we can tune them out occasionally and connect more with other people who are actually supportive. We can also reassure the diminishers of our competency in handling the tasks at hand. And when there are other multiplier leaders in the organization, invite them into the loop. We can leverage positive influence altogether to create a more empowering environment. 
Our knowledge allows us to achieve far beyond merely eliminating diminishers and adopting a multiplier role ourselves. We have the power to establish a multiplier culture where each team member embraces a multiplier mindset and actively participates in multiplier behaviours. In a multiplier culture, the words we choose matter. We cultivate a shared vocabulary that promotes growth, collaboration and positivity. We speak in terms of we rather than I to emphasise collective success over individual achievement. Meanwhile, our conduct exemplifies the principles of multiplier leadership. We lead by example, actively seeking input, sharing credit and empowering others. Multiplier leaders possess a deep conviction in the potential of every team member. We believe in their capabilities and foster an environment where each individual is encouraged to excel. In a multiplier culture, we also dispel the myth that leadership is about control and authority. Leadership is about allowing others to shine. Not only that, we create customs and traditions that reinforce the multiplier culture. We celebrate achievements and regularly recognize team members for their contributions. These customs cultivate a sense of pride and unity within the team that can strengthen our commitment to the multiplier mindset. From this book, we learn that becoming a leader isn't just about the title on our office door. It's more about the influence we wield, the power we radiate, and even the legacy we leave. As a leader, we have a profound responsibility that shapes the culture of an organization, impacts the lives of those we lead, and ultimately shapes the future. We should stop worrying about having all the answers because it's always better to make space for others to contribute. When we invite people's best thinking and lead like a multiplier, our team will give us more, more discretionary effort, more mental and physical energy, and even more of the fresh ideas critical for long-term success.